Thanks. You know, let's go back to more about what you were saying is happening in California. Tonight, Governor Gavin Newsom's regional stay-at-home order is in effect. That'll continue for the next three weeks. News 11's Gene Alagiglino, though, spoke to a local business on how it's been impacting them. The tables are empty and the orders are slow. That's been the reality for K-Sushi and Imperial for the last seven months. For a couple of months, they did have outdoor dining. Things seem to be going back to normal, but now they are relying solely on takeout. So we were going to put like tables outside, a big sign, uh, have new menus and all that and make it look fancy and also put like balloons and lights, but it didn't go how we wanted to. Diaz says her work shifts were cut down to four hours. When she started, a regular day was six hours. She says the need for servers keeps decreasing. Um, when we had the outdoor dining, people left like a lot of tips. Now that we took it off and we do takeout only and people order like, let's say $80 worth of food, they just put like a zero and that kind of makes us mad because we're packing their food for them and they're asking for extra sauces and all that stuff and you know, we put it for them and they just don't say thank you. As of Monday, El Centro Regional Medical Center is taking care of 77 COVID patients and they have officially run out of intensive care unit beds. California Governor Gavin Newsom announced the Home O2 program, which targets counties like Imperial County experiencing a rapid surge in new COVID-19 cases and hospitalizations. This program will provide oxygen therapy and paramedic support for up to 100 patients recovering at home. I'm scared every day when I come to work. Um, you never know who your employees have been with. You never know if they have it. Or you never know if a customer walks in and they've been in contact with someone. You just, you never know. So it is very scary because I'm risking my life. Diaz says she hopes people will continue to support local restaurants because they need it. Reporting in Imperial, Giannella Giglino, News 11.